From molestation cases, sexual assault, tax evasion, to child pornography, and even outright murders. In this video, we dive into 20 actors who are currently facing with accusations. Detention and find out the reasons behind their detention. Stay tuned because you might recognize some of your childhood favorites on this list. Don't hesitate to leave a comment. If the video you're watching is interesting, comment number one and otherwise number two. Shannon Richardson, once a promising actress, found herself embroiled in a harrowing and convoluted ordeal in May 2013, marking a stark downfall in her career trajectory. Prior to this, she had garnered recognition for her roles in various television and film productions, notably in the acclaimed series The Walking Dead, where her talent shone brightly. However, Richardson's life took a dark turn when she levied accusations against her husband, Nathan Richardson, alleging his involvement in mailing letters laced with the deadly poison ricin to several prominent figures, including President Barack Obama. Despite Nathan's steadfast denial and claims of being framed by his wife, subsequent investigations unearthed compelling evidence implicating Shannon Richardson as the perpetrator behind the sinister scheme aimed at shifting blame onto her husband. Arrested on June 7, 2013, for the charges of sending threatening letters to President Obama, Richardson eventually confessed to mailing three Riken laced letters while deliberately implicating her spouse. Consequently, she struck a plea deal on November 22, leading to her sentencing to 18 years behind bars in July 2014. In addition to her criminal proceedings, Richardson pursued legal action under 42 U.S.C. 1983, alleging deprivation of rights during her incarceration. However, this lawsuit was dismissed in March 2015. Currently, she remains incarcerated in a federal prison in Fort Worth, Texas, with an anticipated release date set for November 18, 2028. The shocking case of Ryan Grantham, the young actor known for his role in Riverdale, unfolded in 2020 with a tragic and horrifying incident that shook many. Grantham, then 24 years old, was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of his mother, a heinous act that sent shockwaves through the community. The courtroom drama played out in the British Columbia Supreme Court in Vancouver, where Grantham was handed a sentence with no possibility of parole for 14 years. But Grantham's crimes didn't end with matricide. He had also plotted a more sinister act, intending to carry out a massacre targeting Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. Armed with multiple firearms and Molotov cocktails, he planned the attack meticulously. However, before his plan could materialize, he surrendered to the authorities. During the emotional trial, Judge Kathleen Keir described Grantham's decision to surrender as a saving grace, averting a potential mass tragedy. She emphasized the profound impact of the crime, particularly on Grantham's own family, Psychiatric evaluations revealed that Grantham had experienced a depressive episode preceding the crime. However, the judge deemed this as only a mitigating factor. Despite any underlying mental health issues, Grantham was held fully accountable for his actions and was thus sentenced accordingly. This case serves as a sobering reminder that even individuals struggling with mental health challenges must face the consequences of their actions. Zach Avery, a former actor and producer, took a dramatic shift into the world of financial crime when he admitted to securities fraud in 2021. He was found guilty of masterminding a massive Ponzi scheme, swindling over 250 investors out of a staggering $690 million, with losses totaling up to $227 million. Avery's scheme was intricate, enticing investors with false assurances that their money would be utilized to acquire film rights destined for international distribution by major streaming platforms like HBO and Netflix. However, investigations revealed that rather than fulfilling these promises, Avery diverted the funds to pay off previous investors or for his personal expenses. After being apprehended for wire fraud on April 6, 2021, 
Avery eventually pleaded guilty to securities fraud on October 4 of the same year. Subsequently, he was handed a stern sentence on February 14, 2022, serving 20 years in prison and ordered to compensate victims with a hefty sum of $230 million. Among Avery's victims were individuals close to him, many of whom suffered substantial financial setbacks. Prosecutors denounced Avery's actions as shocking in its severity, emphasizing the profound breach of trust he inflicted upon those who had placed their confidence and resources in him. Avery's downfall serves as a stark reminder of the dire consequences of financial deceit and underscores the importance of vigilance against such breaches of trust. Michael Jace, renowned for his role in the TV series The Shield, plummeted from fame to infamy following a heinous crime that landed him behind bars. The tragic incident unfolded on May 20, 2014, when Jace's wife, April Jace, was discovered deceased from a gunshot wound. Adding to the horror, Jace himself made the chilling call to authorities, confessing, I shot my wife. In the aftermath of his arrest, harrowing details surrounding the case gradually emerged. Jace was charged with murder and ultimately sentenced to life imprisonment on June 10, 2016. His violent actions not only sent shockwaves through the community, but also left his fans and colleagues reeling from the negative fallout. The once celebrated series The Shield, in which Jace had prominently featured, now stands as a haunting reminder of his dark past. Reflecting on his on-screen roles against the backdrop of his real-life crime sends a shiver down the spine of viewers. Jace's story serves as a sobering testament to the relentless efforts of law enforcement in ensuring justice is served and safeguarding the community from the clutches of ruthless criminals like him. Will Hayden, once a prominent figure in the American television industry as the star of the Discovery Channel reality show, Sons of Guns, saw his life spiral into darkness with convictions for heinous sex crimes. Despite his fame and success, allegations of serious abuse tarnished his career and reputation. In August 2014, Hayden's downfall reached its nadir when he was arrested on charges of child molestation and other related offenses. Initially, he vehemently denied these accusations, attributing them to a personal vendetta. However, as additional victims, including his own daughter, came forward, the damning nature of the allegations became undeniable. These abhorrent crimes not only brought an abrupt end to Hayden's television career, but also resulted in a severe punishment. In 2017, he received three consecutive life sentences, plus 40 years in prison, with no possibility of parole or probation. Hayden now faces the full weight of his despicable actions behind bars, where he must reckon with the consequences of his crimes for the rest of his life. Allison Mack, renowned for her role in Smallville, found herself entangled in a disturbing case that shook the public in 2018. She was arrested for her involvement in sex trafficking and conspiracy linked to the NXIVM organization, described as a sinister network engaged in shocking acts. Police investigations unveiled Mac's pivotal role in enticing women into the organization, which was spearheaded by ENXIVM founder Keith Ranier. Mac stands accused of engaging in sex trafficking and conspiring to coerce individuals into forced labor, effectively transforming a group of female consultants into perpetrators of heinous acts. While released on bail, Mac faced significant legal repercussion. In 2021, she was sentenced to three years in prison, followed by three years of probation, along with 1,000 hours of community service and a $20,000 fine. Despite serving 21 months of her sentence, she was released in July 2023. Max's fall from grace as a celebrated TV star into the shadows of crime and punishment serves as a poignant reminder of the perils of power 
and the potential for its abuse in a world rife with temptation. Her story stands as a stark cautionary tale, highlighting the importance of remaining vigilant against the allure of influence and the exploitation of others. Drew Drexel, winner of season 11 of American Ninja Warrior, is facing serious charges of child sex crimes. According to the United States Attorney's Office for the District of New Jersey, Drexel was arrested for seeking sex with a minor and inciting her to send sexually explicit images. Investigations revealed that he traveled to New Jersey to have sex with the minor and lured her to Connecticut to engage in illegal sex acts. Drexel, 35, was once an icon in the American Ninja Warrior community, but now his name is famous for his alleged crimes. The complaints describe how he recruited and groomed the victim, even threatening to make the victim harm himself if caught. Drexel was charged with summary counts of production of child pornography and use of interstate commerce to entice minors. He made his first appearance in the U.S. District Court for the Middle District of Florida, and his attorney has not commented on the case. This incident caused a stir in the community and attracted widespread attention from the media. He is currently facing serious consequences of his actions and will have to wait for the next trial process. Callan Rashad Walker, renowned for his role in the movie Superfly, faced a dire fate as he received a sentence of 50 years to life imprisonment upon being found guilty of rape. Walker's criminal journey commenced in 2013 when he utilized social media platforms like Instagram and Twitter to lure women with promises of professional opportunities and encounters with celebrities. Prosecutors unveiled a disturbing narrative, revealing that Walker sexually assaulted four women and three girls whom he had connected with on social media. Exploiting their trust, Walker would often isolate his victims before engaging in inappropriate sexual conduct. Despite their pleas for help, Walker callously disregarded their distress and continued his brutal actions. Following his conviction in April 2022, Walker's attorney asserted his client's innocence and expressed intentions to appeal the verdict. Nevertheless, the community was left reeling by the outcome, casting doubt on the legal system's capacity to safeguard victims of sexual crimes. Walker's case serves as a sobering reminder of the imperative to prioritize the protection of vulnerable individuals and to hold perpetrators accountable for their actions. Joe Exotic, famously known as the Tiger King, gained international fame as an American media personality and businessman who operated the Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park in Wynwood, Oklahoma from 1999 to 2018. He garnered attention for his care of exotic tigers at the park, which he renamed Greater Wynwood Curiosities. However, Joe Exotic's career took a dark turn in September 2018 when he was arrested for allegedly attempting to hire a hitman to assassinate Carol Baskin Baxton, a prominent animal rights activist, and his longtime rival. Baskin Baxton had accused Joe Exotic of animal abuse, leading to a heated feud and making him a target of investigation. While Baskin Baxton was not implicated in her husband's disappearance, she faced legal troubles of her own and was convicted of unrelated crimes in 2019, receiving a 22-year prison sentence. Meanwhile, Joe Exotic was convicted on two counts of murder for hire and 17 federal charges, including animal abuse, which revealed his involvement in the deaths of five tigers and the falsification of records at Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park. In January 2022, Baskin Baxton's sentence was extended to 21 years, but she still must serve 21 years, as opposed to the initially handed 22-year sentence. The high-profile case surrounding Joe Exotic and his feud with Baskin Baxton captivated audiences worldwide, shedding light on the complexities of the exotic animal industry and the legal consequences of vendettas gone awry. Skylar DeLeon, once known for his role in the Power Rangers universe, 
has transitioned from a promising childhood to a life marred by darkness and crime. His involvement in the 2004 murders of Thomas and Jackie Hawks from Prescott, Arizona thrust his name into the forefront of legal and media attention. In April 2009, DeLeon and his accomplice Jennifer Henderson were convicted of the brutal murder. While DeLeon was sentenced to death, Henderson received two life sentences without parole. Two other co-defendants, John Fitzgerald Kennedy and Alonzo McCain, were also found guilty in connection with the case. The Hawks, who were simply trying to sell their boat, tragically vanished after meeting with Deleon and Henderson. They were bound and thrown into the ocean, their bodies never to be recovered. After attempting to evade capture, Deleon was apprehended when an accomplice confessed to the police. Following a dramatic trial, he was sentenced to death in 2009. However, this punishment remains unfulfilled due to California's decision to block execution. Delian's life took another unexpected turn when, in 2009, he underwent gender reassignment and hormone therapy, transitioning from male to female. Today, she is known as Skylar Preciosa, symbolizing a journey of rebirth and renewal amidst the tumultuous events that have defined her. Zara Fithian, 39 years old, and her husband Victor Mark, 59 years old, just went through a stressful trial at Nottingham Crown Court, UK, where they were convicted of a total of 14 crimes related to abuse child sex. The couple began their abuse when the victim was just 13 years old, and it lasted from 2005 to 2008. The BBC revealed that the police investigation relied on the testimony of a victim, known as a A, who detailed the atrocities Fithian and Mark committed against her when she was a teenager. A child. Uh, accused that two people sexually abused her from the age of 13 to 15 years old. Mark even forced Ada to have sex about 20 times between 2005 and 2008. The victim shared, I knew it was wrong, but didn't know how to get out of it or say anything. Uh, also alleged that Mark threatened to harm her if she revealed anything. In addition, Victor Mark also faces four more charges after another woman accused him of sexually abusing her from 2002 to 2003 when she was 15 years old. Parmander Dillon, senior investigating officer, expressed gratitude for the courage of the two victims and hoped that the imposition of fines would bring some comfort to them, while also emphasizing that this will be a valuable lesson for others. Amy Locaine is an actress best known for her roles in John Waters, 1,990 musical comedy, Cry Baby, and as Sandy Harling in the first season of the soap opera Melrose Place in 1992. However, her name became associated with the shocking events of June 27, 2010, when she caused a fatal motor vehicle collision in Montgomery, New Jersey. Locaine was driving at a higher speed than the limit and collided with Fred Seaman's car, resulting in the death of Seaman's wife, 60-year-old Helene Seaman. Testing conducted after the accident revealed she had a blood alcohol level nearly three times the legal limit. Locaine was convicted of vehicular homicide and assault by auto and was later sentenced to three years in prison. However, after a series of verdicts and reviews, she was resentenced to eight years in prison in September 2020. Locaine is currently serving her sentence at Edna Mahan Women's Correctional Facility and is expected to spend more than six years in prison before she can be considered for parole. This case has garnered significant public attention and continues to be a focal point in debates about the legal system and punishment in the state of New Jersey. Jared Fogel, known by the nickname Subway Guy. However, his career ended painfully when he was arrested and convicted of sexual abuse and possession of indecent images. In August 2015, Fogel was arrested on charges related to the use and distribution of indecent images and videos of children. After receiving a prison sentence of 15 years and eight months, he pleaded guilty to sexual abuse and possessing indecent images involving children. 
The investigation found that Fogel paid children to film and take indecent photos, as well as admitted that he continued to sexually abuse children after being warned by police. After being convicted, Fogel was detained at a federal penitentiary in Colorado, where he served his sentence and spent time thinking about his actions. The rift in his career led to the removal of his image from advertising campaigns by Subway and other partners. Fogel's crimes not only hurt the victim, but also shocked the community and fans. His story is a clear demonstration of the despair and pain of violating ethics and breaking the law. Harvey Weinstein, a renowned American film producer and co-founder of Miramax, alongside his brother Bob Weinstein in 1979, achieved significant success with the production of numerous acclaimed films. However, his reputation was irreparably marred by allegations of sexual abuse. In October 2017, a flood of sexual abuse accusations surfaced from multiple women, casting doubt on Weinstein's integrity. Following these revelations, he was ousted from his company and expelled from the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences as more than 80 women came forward with allegations of sexual misconduct and rape. Subsequently arrested in May 2018 and charged with rape in New York, Weinstein was convicted in February 2020 on counts of rape and sexual assault. He received a 23-year prison sentence and commenced serving his term at Wenda Correctional Facility. In July 2021, Weinstein was extradited to Los Angeles to face additional charges, ultimately resulting in a separate trial where he was sentenced to 16 years in prison in California. This sentence must be served independently from his New York conviction. Harvey Weinstein's case not only marked the downfall of a prominent film producer, but also served as a pivotal moment in the ongoing battle against sexual abuse and harassment within the entertainment industry and society at large. Todd and Julie Chrisley rose to fame in 2014 with their reality show Chrisley Knows Best, which offered viewers a glimpse into their daily lives. However, their success was overshadowed by accusations of tax fraud, tax evasion, and financial misconduct. In August 2019, Todd and Julie Chrisley were charged with these crimes and subsequently stood trial. After reaching a plea agreement in June 2022, both were convicted. Todd is currently serving a 12-year sentence at FPC Pensacola, while Julie is serving a 7-year sentence at FMC Lexington, Kentucky. However, in 2023, the court decided to reduce their prison terms. Todd is now expected to be released in 2033, while Julie's release date is set for 2028. Meanwhile, an enigmatic image circulating on the internet has sparked curiosity and speculation. The image features a woman who has stirred controversy, with various assumptions ranging from allegations of murder to the possibility that she is simply an ordinary individual. The mystery surrounding this image remains unresolved, adding unexpected questions about the Chrisley family's lives and future. Joe Sun, a Korean-American with a diverse background in mixed martial arts, boxing, professional wrestling, and acting, gained recognition for his role in the 1,997 film Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery. However, Sun's notoriety stems from his extensive criminal history. In 2011, Sun was sentenced to seven years to life in prison in California for his involvement in a gang rape that occurred in 1990 involving torture. Subsequently, he received an additional 27-year sentence for the murder of his fellow inmate, Michael Thomas Graham. As a result, Son is currently serving a sentence of 34 years to life in prison. Additionally, Son has faced numerous arrests and convictions for various other offenses, including vandalism, probation violations, and non-compliance with sentence terms. During his trial, Son faced charges of rape, torture, and murder.
he and his accomplices subjected the victim to torture and rape before releasing her, causing severe physical and psychological trauma. Of particular severity was Sun's involvement in the murder, which led to a significant prison term, underscoring the dangerous nature of his criminal behavior. Jen Shaw, an American television personality and former cast member of The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, found herself entangled in legal trouble when she was prosecuted and convicted of a felony. Shaw gained notoriety not only for her presence in the entertainment industry, but also for the questionable means through which she amassed her wealth. Engaged in financial fraud and scams over an extended period, Shaw partnered with her assistant, Stuart Smith, in operating a telemarketing venture that peddled non-existent products and services. Their fraudulent activities victimized numerous customers before catching the attention of the FBI leading to their arrest in 2021. Initially maintaining their innocence, Shaw and Smith eventually struck a deal with the America government, pleading guilty to their charges. In 2022, Shaw admitted to wire fraud and was handed a sentence of six and a half years behind bars. This severe consequence not only marked a significant blow to her career, but also tarnished her reputation within the entertainment community. Josh Duggar, known for his role in the reality TV show 19 Kids and counting on TLC amassed a considerable fan base. However, his career took a nosedive when his involvement in criminal activities came to light. In April 2021, Duggar, a prominent television personality, was charged with possession of child pornography. Despite pleading not guilty, he was released on bail pending trial. In December 2021, he was found guilty on one of the charges, and in May 2022, he received a sentence of up to 151 months in prison, roughly equivalent to 12.5 years. Despite arguments from his legal team for a more lenient sentence, citing lack of prior accusations before indictment, Duggar's career and reputation suffered irreparable damage due to his heinous crime. His actions of possessing and viewing sexually exploitative material were exposed, resulting in a prison term until October 10, 2032. This serves as a stark reminder of the severity of his offense and the consequences he must endure. Stoney Westmoreland, famous for his role as Andy Mack on the beloved television series, got into big trouble when he was arrested in Salt Lake City, Utah in December 2018. According to reports, he committed attempted murder. Attempt to entice a minor to have sex. Westmoreland used federal operations to transmit intrusive information about the minor and had booked a vehicle to meet the teenager with the intention of returning him to his hotel room. He also shared lewd photos and asked the teenager to do the same. However, Westmoreland's attorney argued that his client believed he was talking to an adult, but this did not help him avoid the consequences of his actions. Westmoreland faced up to 10 years in prison, but he improved his chances by entering a plea deal. Under the agreement, he was required to comply with strict conditions, including participating in random testing of electronic devices and a complete ban on interacting with anyone under the age of 18 without supervision. Adult supervision. This incident had serious consequences for Westmoreland's career, as he was fired shortly after the incident was announced. The victim's testimonies revealed that Masterson used anesthetics before perpetrating the assaults, sparking an investigation that ultimately led to legal action against him. Both Netflix and talent agency United ceased their collaborations with Masterson upon the announcement of charges against him. Subsequently, he was incarcerated after being urged by the church to safeguard its Scientology members. Masterson stood trial in 2022, but the jury failed to reach a verdict. However, his luck took a turn for the worse during his retrial in May 2023, when he was convicted by the judge. Jessica Barth, overseeing the case, even rejected a retrial request from Masterson's defense team.
the video ends here. Remember, there are still many other interesting and engaging videos in my playlist. Before you leave, please leave a comment number one if you found the video interesting, or number two if not. It's that simple, isn't it? Thank you.